Good morning, Sugarfoot. How are you guys doing this morning? It is 9.24 at the current moment. I've been working for a couple of hours on the computer, doing some admin stuff, um, kind of doing a little pitching. I usually don't pitch for brand collaborations just because I don't have time. Um, most of the things that I get are more inbound, you know, stuff from most of the time reward style. But I just like have done like a little bit of pitches, like a very little bit. God bless me with another campaign. So you might've seen me saying, whoa, thank you Jesus. Or something, cause I just have to give him praise, honey, because listen, you know it's hard out here for a pen. Sorry, sorry, email coming. But anyways, finally got my email box to the zero, okay? Because I think I was like at 160 something, I think. Which honestly, girl, somebody else came in. Ooh, I love the LTK team, honey. If they don't do nothing else, they gonna get back to you. You hear me? Anyways, so yeah, I actually forgot what I was saying. Oh, I got my email box down to zero. Like 160 something honestly isn't bad for an, for a content creator because your email box can get to about 300 easy. And we walking up on the um, holiday season, girl. And I just remembered that I am going to attempt and succeed. I need all the saints, prayer warriors, where y'all at? I need y'all to get on your knees for your girl. Add her to the prayer list, Lord. Please help me to be able to do uh, what did I say? See, this is that bull. What did I say? Lord, help me. Holy Spirit. What did I say? Vlogmas. Gosh, I am worse than a woman pregnant with twins, honey. I can have just said something and completely forget it for the next sentence. I don't understand what goes on up here. Like, I take my vitamins. I don't get it. But, girl, um, I did remember I was going to attempt to do or am going to succeed in doing vlogmas this year this will be the first year i tried i want to say in 2020 and i don't know if i was doing i think i was just doing twice a week in 2020 but but i also had a full-time very hectic accounting job so we are going to pray in the lord jesus and i do have help now i think i don't know if i had a video editor at the time of um when i tried vlogmas in 2020 but now I have a video editor and they are very much prepared for vlogmas stuff. So that is a blessing. And I'll be starting earlier. Um, the thing is my goal is to do Monday through Friday vlogs. We ain't doing weekends. Your girl needs some time to just <sighs> breathe. Okay, we're not doing weekends. But um, I'm trying to like see the exact day I'm gonna start. Uh, so yeah. Um, there's that and how many days I actually want to do I don't know if I'm gonna do like the full from after Thanksgiving to Christmas or from December 1st to Christmas so that's kind of what I'm playing with I'm probably gonna do December 1st through Christmas um, I say through to my bad <laughs> cuz no after like after Christmas, I think there's one more day of our normal post day on Saturday, and then it's the what end of the year? Like the last day of the year, I think is a Saturday, December 1st, I think. Forgive me if I'm wrong, because I'm not looking at nobody's calendar at the moment. But um, yeah, girl. Oh, I'm actually wanting to go to Hobby Lobby in a little bit. I wasn't planning on doing that until I realized I have no like fall decor in my living room and I wanted to do something to my table. So I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby and see what's popping over there. Cause you know, they always got the good set. They have a sale on flowers like every other day, 50% off flowers um, or any floral related type thing. So I kind of wanted to see if there's something there I can find. I need to take pictures of what I already have. So I don't what forget. And two, um, like take a picture of the vases. Are they called vases? Cylinder vases. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, mom. I'm hearing her her words in my mind trying to remember what the name of the vase is called, girl. So I uh, need to take a picture of the three cylinder vases that I have that give like the tiered heights to kind of see the height of each one and kind of have an idea of what I need to do um, or what I can do with the middle of the table, dining room table. Uh, we really don't use that table that often. Like when my family comes over, we, we eat in the what living room, surrounded by the TV. And sometimes the TV be on pause for about three hours because we'll be sitting there talking and having just amazing conversation. And then mom will be in the chair sleep, taking a nap. So <laughs> she, she's gonna have plenty to say with me say that. But yeah, I've, you know, now good with the emails. I just have one email that's come in and it's good. 
girl. Let me go wash these cylinder back. Oh, I need to take a measurement of the wall. Ooh, let me show y'all real quick. Oh, before I leave. Girl, this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> it's still technically summer outside. The first of fall isn't until the 22nd. This is literally the day before. It's 21st. Um, so I just have on some Walmart sweats, girl. And I think this is Target. Um, and of course you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's a big old red bra underneath this white shirt and then my Walmart long line cardigan because it's like 70 in my house, but whenever I come in my office, it's at the front of the house, even though it has these two big windows right here, it's like a good 68 in this office. And then it doesn't help that I always have my fan on because I can't sit and work without my fan being operated. Oh, y'all, I forgot to show you guys this last time I was at at home and I saw this and I thought it was so cute. I need to see if they have all of their stuff on um, line. And then I got boots from the boot haul girl, like just stuff everywhere that I need to declutter at some point, but we gonna move on. Here's what I was gonna show y'all. I finished the second one. Look at it, doesn't it look good? Oh my goodness. It looks so good, I really love it. And this is, like when you walk in, it looks and smells like fall because the wallflower scent that I got from Bath and Body Works called Lee's Girl. If you are somebody that doesn't like like extremely, really overpowering fall scents like pumpkin and uh, sweet potato pie. I don't think they have a sweet potato pie candle. Do they have that? They have a pumpkin pie. It's not the same. Um, like vanilla, brown sugar, all of that stuff that gives you just oh, gag because it's just so, overpowering um, gingerbread like stuff like that then you will probably really love the fragrance leaves from Bath and Body Works works it smells so good and it's not overpowering and it makes your house smell like fall it has like some cinnamon smell in it it just ugh, smells really good and it's it, it just like whenever I pass by the things the little wallflower things that it's just hitting me right and I can still breathe. That's all I ask for my scents, is to allow me to still be able to breathe. So, all that to say, this is really the only place where fall exists in my house. And it looks good, like, oh my gosh, I have fallen in love with this. Justine and Deanna came by and they looked at it and they really loved it. My mama really loves it. My aunt has seen it, really loved it, and Felicia's seen it. Not in person, but they really like it. And yeah, it looks good. Like the beans don't look like beans. And it was way more affordable than using like marbles or stones or rocks or whatever, or something like that. So like, girl, the beans, listen. And I got beans left over. I'm gonna try to make it work with the um, small one, the small little arrangements that I'm gonna do for the dining room table. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I still have the dried rose hips. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I still have the dried rose hips, but I have nothing to put in the actual cylinder vases. So I'll stop by Hobby Lobby and see what they talking about. Um, but yeah, it looks so good. I love it still. I'm just so excited. And then a lot of these, like when ready, when I'm ready to do um, Christmas stuff, a lot of this is base colors. Like I can remove these and those and then see if they have some green pompous grass and maybe something else that I can incorporate in this to bring Christmas out so that I don't have to change up the full front of the house every time a new season you know walks up on us you know what I'm saying but yeah that's the goal for decorating the entire house just adding things not buying new things every time
So I just washed off the cylinder vase. Come on, the girl. Just washed off the cylinder vases. Um, this is like 13 and a half inches in height. I think this is about 10 ish, and that one is about five. If you guys can't tell. Got the rose hips out, the dried rose hips. Um, again, have no idea what I'm gonna do with these. And I actually still, I think I told y'all earlier, I still have some beans left some mixed beans left and I can I don't know I'll figure out a way to play with them some kind of way this is the preserved moss that I have that I don't know I'm gonna do anything with so yeah I'm gonna stop by Hobby Lobby and see what's popping let me get the tape measure and I'm about to measure this space if I am out and about and I see a bench that works I'll get a bench for that space so let me measure it real quick Baby, Hobby Lobby threw up fall, honey. Everywhere. So muchy much. Guess who I'm with? Bing! <laughs> we decided to go to Sweet Green, a nice salad place in the Woodlands. The Woodlands. The Woodlands for lunch. Girl, I spent so much money at Hobby Lobby. I can't wait to see it. It's in the trunk. We're gonna have to unload the trunk when we get back to the We're to pop the trunk when we get back? Oh, okay. Because I know you like to wait before you take the pop the <laughs> I do. <laughs> like, so long. A few days. Oh. <laughs>
Bean and I are headed to our cars. I've gotten some stuff from the Hobby Lobby and then some stuff from, what is this? Lush and we got some wellness shots from Chris. One energy shot and then a um, reset shot. It's supposed to be like a detox scared, that I'm gonna do later at the house. <laughs> play by play. An update. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening now? Because he said that it doesn't, they don't add special things to the shots, but they do to their regular drinks. And I'm like, oh Lord. <sighs> Stuff to make their drink taste better. So that shot gonna be real raw. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I know, when you said that, I was just like, <laughs> like whew. He said that after he brought the shots all the way up to the wrist. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let's get into a nice little talk about the things that i got while we were out honey okay so hopefully you guys can see you pretty decently because it's a lot going on in this kitchen y'all are actually seeing everything disregard all of the junk over there i have it on my countertop so i can remember to go through the mail that i conveniently stash in random spots in like my living room and my office uh, on the side in the like the side of the living room on the bench all the things I just need to get rid of Just this random mail and stuff that just collects itself around my house I'm usually not good at uh, going through the mail when I get it especially when I check the mail It's just so it takes so long for me to check the mail that by then it's like piled up but anyway So girl me and bean Justine bean actually uh, ended up meeting each other for lunch at sweet green so after that, we went to Lush because I wanted to get some hand cream. The hand cream that I got while I was at the grocery store, I want to say last weekend, is really good hand cream, but it stinks. <laughs> the brand is Eucerin, so you know Eucerin is really good if we have like really dry skin and my hands are dry. Like I have really hard slave cotton picking hands. Like I've never missed a day. Like that's, that's how hard my hands are and they're not even at their driest at this point. It sounds like sandpaper. The use room is really good, but the smell of it is just smells like toxic chemicals. And every time I, like when I put it on my hand one time, every time I'm just like, oh my God, what does that smell? So while we were there, we passed a blush. So I saw that they, I went in there to see if it has pan cream. Got this charity pot body lotion, which can sit in my car and be used as hand, body lotion, all the things. I wish they had a bigger size, honestly. And I need to go through my entire car and do like a whole get my car together type thing. Like I got old mask in the armrest that needs to go in the trash. Um, I always have gum in my car. My headphones for the gym stay in my car. Hand sanitizer is in my car. All of those things are very useful. And like I can have some hair ties and stuff like that. Just necessary things in my car but I need to make it look nice. Like at least be kind of organized that I have just junk everywhere. So anyways, Cherry Pots, that's what I got from Lush for hands and body. That's gonna stay in the car. And I also got their Argan Body Conditioner. I used to use this body conditioner all the time when I lived with my mama. Basically you be in the shower or whatever and you put everything on your body, you know what I'm saying? Just rub yourself down like real quick and then you rinse it off body feeling good okay so i haven't used this in a very long time i actually thought they had a bigger size but we gonna work this out like and these are recyclable you can take all of these back to lush i haven't used lush in like probably four or five years it's been forever she gave us some samples of body lotion um they're christmas they're from their christmas line and it's called snow fairy and it smells sweet so that's not something i'm gonna use I can't stand the sweet smell. I meant to tell her why she was offering it. Like, girl, if it's sweet, you can keep it. But <laughs> I just want to be ungrateful. <laughs> uh, so maybe I'll give it to Paris or something. I don't know. That's my only something that she can use. And I got two bath bombs. Now, let me tell you something. I'm nowhere near a bath person. It's just, it feels like it takes a lot of energy. It just doesn't really give me, you know, I be hot, you know, I don't like being hot. You know, I keeps my uh, house at a, a nice 70, 68 to 70, depending on how I'm feeling. And um, I just feel like it's just hot. It's like hot when you're sitting in a tub and nobody finna sit in no cold water. But I think I'm gonna try to like sit in the tub for a little bit, just try to relax, 
okay? Put some Epsom salt in there, a couple of these bad bombs, and let it percolate because I want to like relax or something on Friday. Um, get all my filming and stuff done this week so I have nothing that I have to do on Saturday. So we will see. But the first bath bomb I got is this cute little rose lush bath bomb. It's nice and black. Smells good. It has a slight sweetness but more freshness. I honestly don't remember what the name of it is. I just call it rose. Black rose. <laughs> so we got that and then this one Oh girl, this one smells so good. This one is called Dragon Eggs. And there's nothing special about the like formation of it. It's just a thickums. It's just a big old white ball. But it smells ooh, very fresh. It has some kind of floral scent, but like a clean floral scent. Just really nice. It just smells very good. So I will use one of those on Friday and call myself and try to have like a little bit of a me night. Let's move on to what I got from Hobby Lobby because after that, after I show you guys that, I'm gonna try to create some arrangements or something, I don't know. First things first, I pop up, freaks all the honey. Okay, so I got some things for this little piss poor arrangement that I have on the side that I called myself making like two years ago when I got some stuff from uh, Michael's. The, it's supposed to be pompous, I think. It's like a, one of those skinny pompouses. Is that how you put it? Yeah, one of those skinny kind of pompous grass things. So I'll see how that goes. Uh, but I got this really nice, I think they already hairsprayed them, honestly. Big, full pompous. Look at this, like this? Okay, let me talk to you, let me talk to you, let me talk to you. Those that actually watched the video of me and mama going to Craft X and y'all saw us have the pompous grass, uh, the like light colored one, and it was $29. And mama was like, oh girl, get you six. <laughs> but this is good. Like, first of all, Hobby Lobby has 50% off everything, like almost every single day. And it, they got 50%, at the time I went, they had 50% off fall. And this was $19.99 for one stem. So 10 bucks for one. Listen, li listen, that's about a third of the price. And it's so full. And I think it's already hairspray because it all that shedding, like it's not doing all of that shedding. It's so nice. So I'm gonna try to make something with this for the, uh, over there by the TV. And I got a vase for that area. So like, I don't even know if you're really gonna see the vase based on where I'm gonna put it. But um, I got it for that area just so it can have something to sit in for me to like put everything in and try to arrange them to look some type of way, kind of cute, whatever. So I got that. Nice little vase, got some gray. So if you do see it, you know, it, it kind of goes with the deco, the, the whole house uh, color scheme. So I got a few of these little, you know, some hay. <laughs> Sorry, natural rye. So I got apparently two of these. I'm gonna try to make the arrangements with these. And I don't know what's gonna be what, I ain't gonna lie. I just grabbed some things. I'm actually a little nervous because when we went to Craft X, my mom was with me to tell me, hey, this is gonna work with this, that, and that. You can get that, and you can put that with this, and this, and this. She didn't, she wasn't with me at Hobby Lobby. She wasn't with me to like pull things. So I usually kind of bounce off of my mama for assurance that what I'm doing is right when it comes to this. Uh, but she didn't even know I was going. So this is all solo. We're just gonna have to work it out and try to figure it out. Hopefully it looks decent. Um, then I have three of these uh, pompous grass sticks that are, uh, they were $19.99 so of course they're like 50% off, so they're 10 bucks. So I got those. And then, I don't know what these are called. Orange Ceteria, which were $14.99. So it's like $7.50, I think, half off. Is that half off or is that $7.50? I don't know, something like that, probably. So I got two of those that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with. Well, again, yeah, like I got, I got things, and then I got the things that I don't know what I'm gonna do with the things. Then I got, Two of these light brown, light skinted, whatever these are called. It doesn't have the name on it. But these were $19.99 and of course they're 10 bucks. And then I got two of these little thingies. And then 
two of the like auburn burgundy of these little thingies. And I got some, got some things to just like sit on the plate. So I got a light skin and a dark skin, uh, <laughs> dried, medium tone rather, dried, uh, whatever this is. It's called stick link floral, dried floral stuff. I don't know, but I just thought it would be cute to like sit on the plates and have like um, a medium one, a lighter one, a medium one, a lighter one, kind of alternate them. So now that I've gone through this, I think I'm even more nervous now because I'm like, I don't know what's gonna be what. <laughs> Jesus be an idea, cause I don't know. I took pictures and you know, and I know I brought, I bought cutters and everything else like that so that I can cut stems and stuff because I know like the stems of these, they are not going to just automatically fit in these vases. So just Jesus help me. But I'm gonna be watching some, I'm not gonna talk you guys through what I'm doing because I don't know what I'm doing. And that's just gonna add pressure on me to feel like I need to communicate what I'm doing when I really don't know what it is. So I'm just going to do, and hopefully it turns out right. And I will show you the end product, whether it's right or not. So. Okay, y'all, things are ending in the way that I'm not even, I was not expecting to end. Oh, girl, absolute fail, absolute fail. Some of y'all probably already saw it coming, all of you decorative people. <laughs> Just probably saw it coming with what I chose. I am, not, I don't know what I was doing. Still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Never knew what I was doing. Uh, it just happened to gracefully work out in the front of the house. It did not in either of these arrangements. So I have completely stopped. Can you not be in my face? <laughs> I've completely stopped, but I'm gonna show you where the fail ended or started and I stopped it from continuing. So uh, this one is just, just looks like I got a bunch of stuff and just decided to put them all in this vase. It just makes no sense. I haven't really gotten it to where it's like cohesive. So you see those over there, they look cohesive. They, you know, you got your different heights and whatnot. I tried to do that over here. It seemed like the ones that I wanted to cut would not cut. Um, it just looks like I grabbed a bunch of stuff and just threw them together and I didn't even really finish it because I looked like I was running out of room at the base of the vase. It's just like the top of the vase. All the things, girl, it's just a no. Maybe my mom will be able to help me to try to create something with what's left, but you know, I'm, I don't know. I don't know, girl. So this was an ultimate fail. I like the height. But just like, look at it. She's just, uh, I don't know what to talk about. Girl, this fail was just like, look at it. And this has happened over time. This was not leaning like this when I just, when I was doing the things. Like, girl, it just, look, first of all, I started off with these little beads and uh, wrong. The rose hips, the dry rose hips and the mixed beans. And that started looking off good. And then you go to this grass, honey. I just. The stems are so weak. I didn't think about that when putting it in the beans. I honestly wasn't thinking about sticking it all the way down the beans. I don't know. It's just not giving. It's giving poor. It's giving, what are you doing? It's giving, girl, just throw me in a bag. Like it's, <laughs> it is frustrating to spend the money to make something look nice and it just does not turn out in the way that you thought it would. So not gonna lie. Hella irritated. <laughs> just, and you know, I tried to like, you know, add some of these to the mix of that one, but like the head of it was getting too cluttered. I just had to let go. Like some stuff is still over there. It's crap all over the floor from these cotton picking straws. It's just a lot going on that I was not thinking about when I picked all of this crap up. So if anything is salvageable, I don't know. My mom will have to tell me at this point because my confidence is shot and I'm not going to take another stab at it tonight, let alone, I mean, not, not tonight for sure. I don't know if I'll do it later. 
or if I, I will even care, honestly. <laughs> not gonna lie. So disappointed, so disappointed. Was not expecting it to turn out like this, but I'm gonna clean this crap up and take my behind the bed because I'm not in the mood to play with this anymore. I'm not. Uh, this is not my forte anyway. <laughs> this is my mom's strength I'm really trying to do for my house. And it's just, you know, I know she has even run into things where she's like, things didn't turn out the way she expected them to. I just don't have the energy for this. I, I don't want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. I, sorry to end on a bad note, but you already knew it was gonna be bad anyway when you saw the title because I'm definitely gonna let you know with the title that this is a fail. <laughs> don't be expecting perfection and completion over here because look, look at how it's looking. We're not getting it. We are not getting it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video or whatever is left of this video. <laughs> and please definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so we can be pushed out some more and we can grow. Our entire channel can grow. More sisses and sugarfoots can come over here. Sugar feet? I, ne I never know what the plural version of y'all is, will be. Sugar feet don't sound right. More y'all can come. More shugs can come. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will talk to y'all in the comments. <sighs> my my ego is bruised right now, so the, keep the suggestions a little low. <laughs> I need I need suggestions from my mama. <laughs> or I mean, you can put suggestions out there. I'm I'm gonna get myself. I'm gonna be all right by then. But I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.